Welcome back guys, uh, so in the uh, next few episodes uh, we'll try to get uh, a bit more experience, I think two more levels, so we'll have uh, 28 skill points before we join any faction, and as I said I think we'll join uh, first the sect camp, old camp, new camp, that's kind of the way that I'm going to deal with that. Now, uh, I'm not sure if there is some cool chest that we can loot here. That is also something that I want to check out, but uh, let's quickly run through here and see if we can find anything. Then we'll be on our way outside of the camp and see if we can find uh, any anything cool laying around. And also, uh, well, kill all the mobs that we find along the way. I, um, I think I never found anything that impressive in chests here in this camp and also in those chests in old camp in the uh, in the lower parts so I'm not sure if there is something if I'm missing something yeah please tell me okay this chest is locked I I should have known that because we already tried that also um, I know that uh, there is uh, there are those chests in old mine, uh, those chests can be unlocked and we'll do that in uh, some future episodes, but uh, for now uh, we'll check uh, some of the chests here and uh, then we'll be on our way. Thought that had been cleared up ages. So this is looted, I just wanna check if uh, after some times he might put more stuff in there. Maybe in the next chapter, who knows? Generally speaking, there are not many things in uh, these uh, huts. They don't care too much about stuff. Now, this could be interesting. I never actually went in here. Nope. I thought maybe because uh, the ball is here, maybe because of that why is he kind of not talking I don't know is he going to turn away mm, well that's weird I think I have my game way, way turned down uh, on my headphones, so let me quickly increase the volume. Oh yeah, that should be fine. I think we can trade with this guy. I'm not sure if we checked what he has. I want to acquire. Uh, we definitely want to buy this stuff. We probably already bought something. But why not? That's almost Let's see some something cheap. Oh, we have duplicate of uh, books that can be cool to get rid of. No, it's okay. I would like to learn how to increase the power of my the power. So this is something that we'll do later on, since. For now, we could use those scrolls and that way use magic, but yeah, I'll do that later on. 
it's raining like crazy outside. So yeah, I don't know how much it's going to be picked up uh, by the mic. I kind of started to speak a bit louder, so <laughs> maybe that helps. Uh, let's see something. Uh, let's start overriding this stuff. Hey, you! What are you creeping about here for? How's it going since I become you're in it? Also, I want to try to kill those uh, swamp thingies. Hey, uh, you! Buzz up! Lucky for you. But I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Swamp uh, sharks, I think? Well, screw you. Uh, just uh, the pop-up uh, from some program just uh, turned my gothic into a window mod. So I will save, reload, uh, be right back. Oh yeah, guys, I'm back. And I also went to the swamp sharks. We cannot kill them. Uh, neither with the bow nor with this mace. They are simply way too high level for us. So I decided to actually reload to this save game because the game actually crashed once I reloaded there with the swamp sharks which is way too often to be honest getting a crash uh, <laughs> let's try these huts here and we'll also sleep in one of those because I'm clumsy Oh, this is weird. Sometimes the objects simply flicker. Usually, if I run the game for a bit longer, you wanted that. So you do know what's good for you. They did so little damage to me. Interesting. Am I that powerful? Hey, what's that for? Interesting how they start attacking me right away. More weirdness. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. That might have helped. I think that got reset. I think I had it on 30. Eh, who knows. So that's con that controls how far small objects get rendered. Maybe my setup got reset for whatever reason. Looks like we'll want not have anything to loot here. We checked uh, Corklam, we checked there, maybe under where that guy that sells weed, maybe this hut here. Very clever. Hey, you! Get hey, you! You have no. So there are definitely no chests here. Let's. Uh... I've come to. Here, take! I wonder if it's kind of profitable to... Well, you can uh, buy wheat from this guy, you can also get three rations. But you can use that uh, to give uh, to those guys want... at uh, new camp, so maybe... Nah, that's... Barely profitable, you would get uh, two 
or pair. So you, you get 10 ore from those guys in the new camp. And it's probably the worst way to actually earn some more. Because it's way too time consuming. What about here? Looks like this is just going to be empty running around. Nope. These guys don't have anything. The new camp is definitely the richest. There's so much stuff to be stolen there. Hey you! Why why are these guys kinda getting mad? They don't so have anything you in do the know what's good for you. But they're still aggro. Okay, so we did check here. But keep it to yourself. Keep it to obvious. Nope. And probably nothing nowhere. So these cuts here maybe because maybe they're Hey, you you samplers there. Guarding them. Hey, you nope. I'm not listening to all that black keep it to yourself. Hmm, well, let's say there. Behind you! What a fight! The guy has a crossbow, interesting. You know the Templars used crossbows? I don't, they're kind of two-handed. Definitely not. Again, I'm wondering if you have a second level of pickpocketing. Is it just going to help you not to get cut? Because uh, with first level you get cut like nothing. Or is there a kind of deal that maybe... Um, hmm, I want to say... Maybe you can steal more things. Maybe even weapons that those guys are carrying. That would be awesome. So definitely want to test that out. There are probably some of you that know that, so... Yeah. Hey, you! But if you're interested, you will find out. Well, has he taken over now? Yeah. Finally I can get to sleep. Thanks, man. So definitely not. I won't even attempt to check other houses because if there's nothing here, I really doubt that there is anything in the, in the other houses. Maybe hey, you. the last thing that I will check. The right. So what I'm thinking, and I sh really want to check this, um, there's some waterfalls um, that might be, might have some hidden passages. This is really easy to check actually, since we can see quite far. 
so definitely not here. I'm not sure if this is... <laughs> there's in hidden passages in Reason, I remember that, but I don't think I found any hidden passages in Gothic 1. Maybe... Uh, I don't know, maybe there is some. But since I know that uh, there might be a possibility for that, I kind of wanna wanna check. So I don't think here doesn't look like it. Oh no. I should have guessed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's the save game? Yeah, we're going outside. Straight outside. So I know where I want to go. Uh, I want to go to those goblins that we missed before. And... Well, well, let's use some speed. No point in kind of saving it too much. When we run out of it, we'll simply have to go on foot. Well, on slow foot. Come on, man. There are also those harpies that we didn't kill up there where we found, found one hander. So that could be also interesting. I will try those shenanigans on the rock. I think we climbed this smaller rock here than up here. And of course, we'll save the game. And let's do this. I should have guessed that that would have happened. That's a decent amount of XP. I don't think we need to pick this stuff up because it's a tiny bit useless. And we have all the ore that we want. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. We might go even uh, three levels before we join a faction. I don't know.
<laughs> I don't remember all of these goblins, man. Can I climb this thing? Oh, wait, wait. I think I can climb this thing here. Hmm. Hopefully I'm not stuck. And they're probably back. Okay, there are some that are stuck nearby. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> okay, let's climb this thing, hopefully without getting stuck in this tree here. Maybe, 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 maybe from here. If I manage this with one hand or all, man. I kinda have a luck that they are keeping... Getting stuck in the ground. Because that I can do this. And there are even more of them. Okay, let's get this one. Definitely don't want to go over the bridge, I guess. game probably should at some point <laughs> I have to figure out the better way to do this because this is going to backfire pretty soon fast enough around here so I can use the bow before they go back oh yeah this is definitely going to work Well, now we are saving, so let's uh, see. I don't know. Hey, that was probably this. Can be overridden. I won't loot this stuff, I guess. Better bet to use this. Oh 
Oh yeah, thank you, man. Let's see what we have here. Some arrows. Some spell scroll. Not sure which one. A torch. Some more nuggets. I guess the goblins brought that back. Some mace. Potion. Let's see. I wonder about that mace. That's probably it. And the scroll. I think it was fireball. Maybe. Dude, this is not even locked. So, or looks fine. Hmm. I think this is for some future quest, maybe. Almanac. Hmm. Can we read that? Okay, there it is. Okay, we'll see what that is about, uh, I think, way later. Are these all the caves? Nope. Definitely more, I think. They might even respawn in the next chapter, so... Yeah. It looks like a potion. Let's let it be a permanent one. Nope. You yeah, guys, so we leveled up. That's really awesome. Let's see how much uh, is the next one. Well, that kind of increased. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, we'll probably go for one more level before we join a faction, but yeah. And we'll visit the old mine definitely once more and probably clear it all out. So guys, this is all for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.